Welcome back to Clumsy Dog. <laughs> and then there's this. <laughs> Welcome back to Clumsy Dog. <laughs> this is my life. Okay, let's go find a place and sit down. First order of business that we're going to take care of out here today is we're going to get rid of some of these old pepper plants. Um, I don't want to pull them up. I'd rather not disturb the soil if I don't have to. So I brought the loppers and I'm just going to cut them off at ground level. Um, we had a really, really good pepper harvest this year. It waited till real late in the season to get started, but once it did, it went and it went. And I just haven't gotten back out here to get rid of these plants. So let's get started. All right, remember how to use those loppers? Yep. Georgie, stay out of her way. Okay, be real careful, Emma, and don't don't cut off the um, water. Mama, you see, see that stump over there? Yeah. I'm gonna go back. Shake it. Oh, look. Don't come back in. Uh, I was trying. That was full that I was trying to get. Oh, that was mine. Yeah, that's okay. I'll go get it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I am your mom. Wait, watch out. It's really green. Okay. All right, that bed down. Wait. You want to tell our viewers secrets? Mm -hmm. Me? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of secrets are you telling them? Me? I got sticks I in my hair already. Well, you gonna tell them secrets? Nope. Here, you gonna sit beside me? No, I don't. I didn't want you to be there while I was telling them. Something. Well, what are you gonna tell them? Well, you know they can't see us yet, right? 
Well, we have to edit this. It's not live. Uh, Who's that? <laughs> I like your nose, little mouse. All right, so let's see. So let's talk about some of our plans that we have for the um, for all of these spaces. So, what you got to say, Emma? Okay, so, be so, it, Mama, so you don't, so if the trees are cut down, you don't, you don't want them mm -hmm. to try, try growing back. So you should, you should just keep, keep, keep cutting, cutting it. That's right. So, so last year, this area back here looked exactly the same as that area over there that we've been working on. You remember that? You remember what it looked like? It was just like wood. It was. It was all really thick woods, and Daddy spent all winter cutting down trees, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And then we even helped some. We've got some pictures where you helped. Yeah. And then, what did we do in the spring? We started planting. That's right. We, we built garden beds. With logs. With logs. We used the logs that, from the trees that we cut down to make our oh, garden oh, beds. And also in the spring, Dad, Daddy made the campsite. Yeah, that was part of his spring spring work was the campsite. It's about time to do another campfire, huh? Yeah. So, so last year at this time, all of this was super thick woods. And Jake cut down tons of big trees. Um and then turned these, used the, the logs to make garden beds. And this summer was the first summer that we had grown anything back here. And we were so pleased. Um, it didn't have quite as much sun as you would normally think that you need to grow a garden. But a lot of plants actually do even better in that dappled sunlight. Um, tomatoes but, especially. But, but, but even though it it had a lot of sun clearing, uh -huh. it didn't get that much sunlight. Maybe because it wasn't right under the sun. Well, it got a lot of sun, but it got a lot of what's called dappled sunlight. What's dappled sunlight? Dappled sunlight is... Let me think, see if I can think of an example. You know when you stand under a... Well, you can think about in the, in the woods in the summer. When the sunlight just comes through the, the leaves a little bit mm -hmm. and you see little spots of sunlight on the ground. Mm -hmm. That's what dappled sunlight is. And actually it turns out that that's pretty good for a lot of the plants that we grew. The tomatoes liked it because they didn't get burned by the sun. The peppers, I think that's probably why they took so long. What is it? What is it? Oh, I think that might be a squirrel's nest. The ones that looks like a really big, the one that looks like a really big bird's nest. Uh, uh, look is that what at, you're talking look at about? that bird's yeah. nest up there. I think it's a squirrel's nest. But the ones that the leaves are, yeah. these are squirrel's nest. Yeah. We right kind of wish the squirrels would live somewhere else, but they didn't bother our tomatoes too bad last year. Do you think they did? They bite, bite it into the right. There was, nest. there was a few of them. Yeah, there was a few hey. of them. So in this bed behind me, last year we grew tomatoes and peppers. It all seemed to take a little while to get started, but once it did, it it all produced really well. I was a little disappointed by the tomatoes, but I think that has more to do with our soil fertilization situation. Yeah, um, you want to use cow poop. You do, and we did, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So we tested our soil before we got started, and... Hey, I can see. <laughs> We tested our soil before we started the garden, and it had pretty much no nitrogen, so we had to put quite a bit of manure in it, um, and I think that got it to mostly where it needed to be. So what are we going to grow in this bed this year? Um, we did peppers and tomatoes last year. We should do something different in this bed this year. Okay. Hey, that was another problem that we did not have last year was tomato worms. Oh, yeah. We didn't have any tomato worms back here, did we? I don't think oh. we had a single one. Well, well, we did have a single one. In this bed? Really? Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. But you're probably right. But just one. Mm -hmm. it's not, it wasn't bad. Yeah. It wasn't bad at all. But so we did tomatoes and peppers here. Uh, oh, I where think we did it? strawberries and... Where is it? Well, well, I ordered peanuts. Where 
to try to grow. We could grow peanuts back here. Yeah, yeah. Where's what? To, and do we have to wash peanuts? That garden worms. We don't have any garden worms right now. Oh, do you have to wash peanuts? Yeah. I don't know. I've never grown them. It's going to be an adventure. I, I think we should test not washing peanuts and eating them. Gross. You know how they grow? They grow, the peanut part is actually part of the root. It's kind of like a potato. Ooh. You have to pull the pull the vine up. I remember my papa used to grow them. Mm. You have to pull the vine up and shake off the dirt. And I guess if they're super duper dirty, then you'd want to probably um, wash them. And we'll have to see how it goes. Are you still working on digging out, digging out the dirt and that garden bed too? Yep. Yeah, that'll be brand new, won't it? Yeah. So I think we should put strawberries and blueberries in the new bed. In that one? Yeah. We might do that. Oh, what did you find? You found one of our tags from our tomatoes. So this is one of the things that we grew last year. I don't think we're going to grow this one. It didn't do so well. This one, I was not impressed. Jeff, Jeff doesn't know what he's talking about. It also wasn't the world's largest tomato. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think we're going to plant that one this year. You can have that, though. You. That'll Wait, be your trophy. We also, we also grew these. We did, didn't we? Did those do pretty well? What were those? Uh, those, I don't think we got a single one. So those, did, but you know what? I've never had any success growing those ever. Oh. I've tried lots and lots of times, and I've never been able to grow them. But we shouldn't give up growing them. We shouldn't. Well, we might, we might plant one okay, to see Emma how it goes. Emma can keep that one if she wants. Okay. Yeah, so Emma. let's. What's our What's our next task out here? I see that. We also oh. grew this one. We got a couple. What is this one? Oh yeah, the, the yellow one. It did okay. Well, I managed to not record any of it. But I cleaned up this bed today. This is a new bed and I think we'll probably grow squash in it this year. It also didn't get me cleaning out this bed. Our cucumbers and zinnias were growing here last year. I don't know what we'll grow here this year. We hope you like this video, and if you do, please, please subscribe.